My name's Eleanor Lynch. I'm a junior and you're watching TMA. Isn't it peaceful in the studio today, Titans? Look at you in a good mood. Why did you have to ruin it? Uh, what do you mean? I did absolutely nothing. Hey Titans, today is Thursday, March 10th, and I'm your host, Kimberly Hernandez-Chavez. And I'm your better host, Cooper Laird Greenwood. As you can see, Kimberly and I are not currently at each other's necks, at least not yet. So let's get to those announcements. The FCCLA is collecting toiletries for the carpenter shelters, the gift of giving, so place your donations in the FCCLA boxes found at the main office. This goes until the end of March, so be quick. Is it your dream to showcase your artistic skills, creating the art that represents your, your culture? For a chance to win a prize, submit an artwork of yours that, that reflects the theme, How Does Your Culture Shape You? by March 18th at 3.30 p.m. at the link in the description. The Marine Conservation Club is taking phone cases and other phone accessories, so swing by A2118, and this goes into the end of March 18th. A Novel's Ideas first ever meeting is on Wednesday, March 16th during the first half of Lunch and Learn in room A230. If you've been thinking about joining a new club and are a big reader, this club is for you. Come by room 145 during Lunch and Learn 2 for this Friday's Future Friday. Miss Nicole Herrera will be talking about mental health. A new club has come to ACHS. The Serial and Cullinan Club would meet every Thursday during the first half of Lunch and Learn in B218. All you'll be doing is eating a new cereal every week while coloring and possibly making new friends. How fun is that? This next Saturday, Learning Academy is March 12th from 9 a.m. to noon at the Mini Howard campus. Come through door 21 to enter the building. Stay blessed. Happy Happy birthday to TMA's rock star, Quigley, who's celebrating their 18th birthday today. Happy birthday, Quigley! It, in sports, the girls' soccer team will be play, playing against whoever wins in their last scrimmage for another scrimmage game. At the ACHA Stadium, JV will play at 5.45 p.m. and Varsity at 7.15 p.m. Don't forget to show your support for our Titans today. If you're interested in learning more about other countries and cultures, come to the Titans Mundial presentation on Bolivia. This will be held today during the second half of Lunch and Learn in room A304. For Women's History Month, TMA is showcasing six powerful women in action films. This upcoming package features Diana Rick, a British action, action star who became a household name for a, her role as Miss Peel on the hit show, The Avengers. Meet Diana Rigg. This is her in her breakout role on the British TV show, The Avengers. She played Emma Peel, a crime-fighting spy who became an icon for strong female characters in TV at a time when they weren't very common. In the midst of filming her first series of the show, Rigg realized that she was not even being paid as much as the cameraman. She held out for a pay raise for the second series and managed to get twice the salary. This was long before the fight to end the wage gap was something the news often talked about, so this was an unprecedented action from her. This is Rig in her most notable film credit, on Her Majesty's Secret Service. She played Tracy Draco, a con woman who helps James Bond take down Ernest Stravo Blowfield, a vicious criminal hell-bent on world domination. When Bond was in his darkest hour, Draco goes against her father's will and goes back into a building that's about to explode to rescue him. This is Rig in one of her last roles, Olena Tyrell from Game of Thrones. This role was played by her when she was much older, so she isn't doing any fighting in this role. 
However, Olena shares the same vicious cunning with Briggs' other characters. She uses her riches and political power to ruthlessly take out her adversaries and give her family even more power. You don't think I'd let you marry that beast, do you? Brig passed away on September 10th, 2020 from cancer. While her career has come to an end, she paved the way for the strong heroines we see on TV today. Now I'll send you back to your TMA hosts. Thanks to Diana Rigg and many other women like her, women in film are starting to get the respect they deserve. And th more thanks to Jack Hadley for that wonderful package. Are we going to be at each other's thoughts like this every show? No, of course. Actually, yes. Yes, we are. Well, I expected nothing less from you. Well, I expect nothing at all from you, so. <laughs>